So, what's up, people? I've been trying to make this video for now like an hour. <laughs> and what happens is, I make these videos and generally I don't watch them. But these last couple of videos I've made, I was skating along lots of topics that might rub people the wrong way. And then they went on for too long. I didn't get any of my points across talking about the Pope. I mean, Pope jokes. So little time. So many Pope jokes. Then you got Barack, Amalama, Shamalama, Ding Dang. And then you got my computer wigging out, dropping frames. That doesn't help. Let's get right to the stock market. Visa's going to 100. Um, yeah, the EXM, I'm still in shock. Now, if you were going to talk about stocks for a second, EXM, I told you about that last week, how I got out of those options and I got out of the common. So right there, you could have made all the money to pay for the subscription, to the Hit the Bid subscription product, where it's not going to happen. The, the call-in show is not going to happen. None of this is going to happen because I can't dedicate any more money to the to the website without actually getting paid. I'm sorry. But uh, eventually it will happen because I'm thinking maybe somebody out there will just come up with a large sum of money to make this all good so we have the call-in show and get this thing more interactive. Because right now you could have actually made money on me. I had uh, bought some Visa pre-market, sold it seventy-two forty just because that was where I sold some last yesterday. And I tried it again, and then I went short at 72, covered it at 71.80, and then it plummeted down to 71. So even though I made money on those trades, you could have got short after I covered and still made another 60, 70 cents. Bottom line is, I'm just a money-making machine for everybody out there. But um, right now, I want to tell you about this. I've been cordially invited to the shareholder meeting on May 7th at 383 Madison Avenue. Now, if people out there like the NASDAQ, you thought I was going to cause trouble, and a lot of people shun me at the uh, trade shows, I'm going here to specifically cause trouble. Yeah, that's right. So maybe I shouldn't be saying this over the uh, over the cyber cyberspace airwaves. But I'm coming. I'm coming to the Doral shareholder meeting. I'm wearing a suit. I'm gonna bring a, I'm gonna bring a uh, what's a guy's name uh, a lookalike. I'm gonna basically I'm gonna do the whole Wall Street scene. I'm gonna go with a girl. I'm gonna bring a bullhorn in case they don't give me a microphone. And uh, I'm gonna basically be asking them point blank questions about whether or not they're getting indicted by the FBI, whether or not they're gonna be a viable company a year from now, whether or not they're running out of cash, and whether or not they're lying to us. Because if I'm gonna be lied to, I want somebody to lie right to my face. I'm gonna bring a bottle of KY jelly. And say, listen, buddy, if you want to fuck me in the ass, at least do it with some KY, okay? Because your stock's disintegrating. Nobody knows what's going on. I thought you had some money there that you were doing some lending with, but apparently it's all been a fraud. That's why you don't get involved in companies that already had a checkered past. Checkered past. Shh, don't trust them. So anyway, the stock right now is... $17.45. And if you were paying attention, what I said, I bought the stock back at 22 and a half. And I said, now might be a good time to short it. That's five points for you if you're playing at home. So anyway, back to the stock market. Visa, yes, it's going to 100. There's no stopping it. Z-Ran. Z-Ran, another analyst. Awesome pick. Got downgraded by, I think, two or three analysts last week going into the earnings. And now the stock is up. Pretty big percentage-wise on the earnings report. So once again, the analysts were wrong. Probably just trying to manipulate it down to get a little bit of more selling pressure on the stock so they can get it a little bit cheaper so they can make money. Once again, you're screwed by an analyst. Why ever listen to them? I don't know. Story is, if you want to have some fun, May 7th, 383 Madison Avenue. I will be there in all my splendor, and uh, I'm going specifically to cause trouble. I'm going with bodyguards. I'm going to be there. The funny thing is it's 8 o'clock in the morning, so I don't know. Maybe I might not even try. I'm going to try to make it. They have a meeting at 8 o'clock in the morning, probably specifically to try to encourage people not to show up. But I'll probably sleep in the city that day, and just maybe I'll just sleep next door. I'll maybe I'll just sleep outside the building. One man, one vote. I'm a shareholder, and uh, I'm going to make a stink about their awful, awful stock performance. I know they're not there to talk about stock performance, but it is a shareholders meeting, and that's basically what we're concerned about, right, Doral? 
you loser company. 1742. So anyway, remember I was telling you there's no way I'm going to hold this thing that ever breaks 18? Well, there you go. Lied. Because now I'm put in a position where I'm just like, screw this. Now I guess I'm holding to the, 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 uh, the 15 level. Because you know it's going there. And if it breaks 15, it's probably going to go to 10. And once it breaks 10, it's over, Johnny. It's over. Doral will be going back to pennies a share and taking my life savings along with it. And then I just want to say one thing, Doral and, the, and all the board directors that are in this magazine. If I ever do get a disease where I have like a month to live, I'm coming for all of you. All of you. So you better hope that I have a long life, very healthy. My cholesterol level goes down from 311 to 200 with the Lipitor I'm taking. I'm 36, I'm taking Lipitor. You better hope that I don't get any sort of disease. Maybe I'll get Ebola. I'll come to your office with my flesh-eating, scuzzy skin, and I'll make you lick my arm. We're getting a little bit drastic now, aren't we? But I'm going to get violent on you. So you better hope that the crawlster lives to a ripe old age. Because if there's anything, anything alters the path of health of my life, I'm coming for each and individually one at a time. And you thought that you've seen movies where they've tortured people. I'm going to invent new ways of doing things to you. Oh, yeah. And all the while, I'm going to be laughing and giggling. But the best thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chain you to a desk and make you day trade. You think, you think you've seen torture before? I'm going to sit there and make you watch stocks all day. <laughs> think about that torture. I'm going to chain you to a desk and make you press buttons and churn your account. Feel it. Feel the fucking burn of that.